Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here. That is a seven-year-old girl on a skateboard that is sponsored. Seven years old and has five sponsors. That is just crazy. Now, she is not from Grand Rapids, so she skates here as often as her mom will drive her the four hours from Rockford, Illinois. Nikki, that is a crazy commitment so far to drive a girl to go skateboarding, but she is so good. How long has she been skateboarding? Uh, she's been skateboarding for about a year and a half. She started September of 2009, uh, and uh, we, she, I mean, basically, you know, someone told us, you watch, she's going to be great, and, you know, make sure that she keeps doing it. So, like I said, we do whatever we can to make sure that... that well, let's take a look at her skating again, because just realize she's only been skateboarding for a year and a half. She just got back from California, where she was skating all over the place at all these different parks. So what is it, do you think, Nikki, that makes her such a good skater at such an early age? Um, I think it's commitment and, and, like I said, a passion for it. Uh, she's definitely got a natural talent, we've been told. Uh, people in the industry who have seen her skate say that she has a very unique style as well. And, yeah. and she really wants to do it all the time. That's great. Now, check her out. Hey, Spence, hold on a second. I gotta ask you a question here. Come on down if you would. When I say come on down, she's gonna road, do the right thing and that is slide on her knees. So, Spence, what do you like so much about skateboarding? Well, I just, uh, I like, I like a lot of the ramps that you go on. I like, I like the pool. I mostly, I do a lot of mini ramp and it's really fun. Yeah, now, you know, it's interesting because I was talking to you and you said that uh, when you're being left alone, that's when you do your best skating, when people aren't telling you what to do. Are you just a natural skater, do you think? I don't know. Well, I do, I do a lot, so I guess. Yeah, well, check her out. She's got a board right here, and this is uh, a board that she just picked up out of California because you were skating out there. You are sponsored by people? You're a professional skateboarder? No, not yet. Not yet? That's pretty sweet though, at the age of seven, imagine that. But we hear about all these wunderkind athletes, these kids that just take to the sport so naturally. So Nikki, let me ask you this, out of all the sports you and Spencer could ever get involved in, did you think it would be skateboarding? Uh, never in a million years. In fact, when she started uh, at our local uh, municipal park back in New Jersey before we moved to Illinois, uh, we were signing her up for her golf lesson. And we were kind of joking around and asked her if she wanted to try skateboarding. We thought she'd say no, but she said yes. Uh, in fact, her older sister started with her, and the older sister no longer does it. Right, well, check her out again. Spencer, drop it in right here. And I'll tell you what, if you check back in just a couple seconds, we're going to show you Spencer going off what she calls the big vert ramp, one that's going to make your heart stop to see this little girl do it. So check back in just a couple seconds here, and you're going to see Spencer do something absolutely unbelievable. Hey, thanks for stopping back to check out Spencer going off the big vert ramp. I mean, look at that. She is 14 feet up in the air, point of reference. Look at these tiny people down here. Look at that tiny person up there. It is Spencer getting ready to drop in. Let's see what you got. Realizing she's only seven years old and skateboarding for a year and a half, and she's thinking about it. I think the big thing here is you gotta commit. Are you ready to commit, Spencer? Show us what you got, girl. 14 feet through the air, Spencer. Down she goes, and up she goes, and around she goes. That is just some crazy stuff. We gotta talk to her mom again, Nikki, about earlier we were talking about how Spencer's sister started out skateboarding, but then quit skateboarding because of an untimely accident with Spencer? Yes, Spencer, uh, at six years old, just when she started skating, uh, took someone else's board to the head, just above her left eye, and had to get 22 stitches. So that turned off big sis to skateboarding, but Spencer persisted. That's right. In fact, when we left the hospital, Spencer said, are we going back to the skateboard? <laughs> wow. Not until those stitches come out, girl. So Spencer, let me ask you about that. 14 feet up in the air. That's got to make your stomach just go whoop, 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 whoop. How does it feel? Well, it kind of like you kind of, it kind of like when you, right when you get off. Yeah? Like, I know, look at that. But you always use, like, but I always somehow. Like, wow, look at that. It's way up there. 
there, and Spencer, thankfully, is right down here. So I've got to ask Mom Nikki one more time. How do we keep track of Spencer's career? Is she on websites anywhere? Is there a way we can follow her? Uh, yes, she has a YouTube channel, which is, you can go to YouTube and search Smoothie Skates. Her nickname is Smoothie, and SK8S, SK in the numeral 8S. And she also, if you have Facebook, she has a Facebook fan page, which is also called Smoothie Skates. Smoothie Skates! I'm going to be checking you out, girl, because I know at some point I'm going to see you up there along with Sean White as some of the greatest skateboarders in all of the world. Good luck to you, okay? Okay. Skate on, girl.